All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today I have a special guest with me. First time ever actually fishing together. We know each other. His wife cuts my hair. He uh, redid our porch there at the house, and he seen my crappie pictures, and he said, man, I sure would like to get on some of them crappie. So today we are fishing what I would call like a cypress swamp, bayou type environment. It is the second or third day of March, and we're fishing for pre-spawn crappie. They uh, are starting to think about spawning, but not quite. It's kind of in that transition period where they're probably on the prowl looking for a female, getting ready to put their tuxedo on. And we're gonna catch some of these crappie on structure using long poles, bobber and minnow. It's a very shallow place. It's only 36 to 40 inches everywhere. But me and Wilma have done really good here, getting several two and three pound crappies. So it's one place I took him that's close to the house that I'm the most confident in. So never had a bad day here. This, see, everything behind us basically is real shallow. Here, see how deep it is right here. It goes to right here. So it's almost three already. There might be some on this. Oh yes, there is. I just seen them. <laughs> Did you see how big that fish was? Right there by you. It was a big swirl. Holy Hell cow. yeah, man. Oh, you had it on the jig head. Okay, I see what you're doing. Guys, that's awesome. He's using a bobber with a underspin jig head and he put the minnow directly on it and was uh, doing it that way, that's cool. Hey, we're both on the board. Heck yeah, they're right there in the open. Just out in the open water. So we gotta have to try that then, not always fish right on the Structure. brush, yeah. Cause there's a lot of stuff you can't see, that's what you always gotta remember. Mm -hmm. this would be crappy. That's what Wilma does, she makes real long casts down through the mill and just keeps sliding it. I went with your suggestion about 13 inches. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit. Too soon for this nonsense. Oh. Oh, I got it all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I think I may be in worse shape than I was. This is not good. It's too soon for all that. Oof. That's what I was up here thinking. I'm like, really? Second cast in this, and you get hung up, Brian? What a retard. <laughs> No, it happens here all. It's a. Right there's where I just pulled him out of. I lost my minnow doing that. Damn. Oh, okay. And yours was a little bit bigger than mine, too. He's on that's him again. Kind guys. Of one of the lake. I think we're going to have a good day. It's looking like it. Hey, that's a good one. We're just, we got to get in the, in the area where those two pounders are at here in a little bit, and it'll be on. You know the link women in here? Uh, no. I would go with nine i'd say nine or ten well, that's a good keeper then just have to put some water in there oh wait that's right you got a stringer I think you might oh mm-hmm i'm hung oh i got a fish and didn't even know i didn't know he's on here i thought i was hung up what the heck yeah Boy's oh, pale, isn't he? I hooked him with a hook pointing down. That's weird. Like that. Through the bottom of the lip. That's weird. I don't know how that would happen. You want that one or? Nah, you can go back. All right. All right, guys. White crappie about eight. Right at eight. I think I may be able to use that minnow again. I noticed my bobber when I was pulling on it, I was thinking I was wrapped on that stick. That fish never bit. He never did nothing. Freaking weird, man. Boy, we spun too close. See, that's what I hate about throwing that anchor down. You'll think you're far enough away from it. And then look what it's doing. Now we're too damn close. Well, they're jumping behind us again. I'm going to set back down. I 
can't quite see the other one yet anyway. I'm surprised you didn't get hit on that. Oh, oh. Oh, I got my drag a little too weak, huh? Black crappie. I think the good ones are after, though, is it? Huh? I think the good ones are after, though, is it? Uh, uh. Every time I've gotten a fish, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm way, yeah. I'm going to put him back. He's a little shy of eating size. All right, guys, black crappie. I think that's my fourth one. I think he's on one at the same time. Yes, he is. He's got something. He's not skiing on the top, so that tells me he's got a bigger fish, I think. Huh? Yeah. No. Still right at hand sized. We're finally starting to get on them, but we're wondering where Grandpa is. Yeah. That's who we're at. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Grandpa. There we go. Yes, that's a good sign we can catch big ones today then, though. I'm, what I'm telling you, I said earlier, you remember one, one thing I said? I said it's going to get better as the day goes on because it's supposed to get 70. Guess what I did again? Threw the bottom lip pointing down. That's oh, twice. How you doing, man? Now that's a 12 or 11, he's at least 11 or 12. Now that's what we're after, guys, right here. This is why I brought him here. We've been catching them, but just not the ones we're after, finally. Whew. Yeah, he's 11 and a half, probably. Man, that's what makes it worth it right there. All right, guys, he's about, I'm gonna change my battery after this. He's about 12. I got my hat on top of my backpack for a second. Not a bad fish. That's why I like about this, it has the front screen. Yeah. So I can see what I look like. I don't have to guess if I'm in frame or not. Ooh, All right, guys, nice crappie, finally. It is a nice black. That ain't bad at all there. I'm assuming you'd want that. Well, there's a big old freaking Fish. Dude, oh my God, ain't that nuts? Guys, I was hung. Well, we found that spot. It's all through here, man. <laughs> Guess what I did again? Through the bottom lip, pointing down. Now, this is a big 13-inch white crappie, guys. Oh, my. Now, that's, <laughs> that's what we're after right there. I really don't want to be floating way over this far away. But now you see what I mean about you get hung up right when you least expect it. And it freaking screws it up and then you gotta end up coming back guys that's what I came for right there them slab whites heck yeah then I'm gonna have to give you your bobber and I'm gonna have to give you this fish he's not 13 he's 11 and a half though it's almost 12 probably Scaring the fish is the bad part, man. Dude, look at that. Oh my god. Nothing, nothing. Just a jig head? Yeah. Oh my god. Sitting in the water. No shit. Yeah. I guess the spinner, though. It's got the spinner or no? Yeah. That's like still it. weird, though. What the? Dude, that little chunk, though. Yeah, that's a pretty one, too, man. That's the best looking black crappie we've caught. Dude, I was just doing this right here when I picked my pole up. That's freaking strange. And all the noise we was making too. I'm trying right in there where we keep getting hung up. There you go. I found something over there. I was just moving it all around. I said, eventually I'll get near it. Even though I can't see it. <laughs> Too little too small to keep. Oh, it's weird to reel one of these in. <laughs> I almost have so to. When I look back and I see the uh, 
bait hanging outside his mouth. Yeah. Uh, he's not that bad. He's nine, he's just real thin, paper thin. I think they'd be full of eggs, but they're not yet. Uh-oh. All right, he's on a pretty nice one here. I think so. Hey, we didn't spook them all, did we? Man, the black again. Black and fat. Yeah. That's a nice fish there. It's like the blacks are more better today than normal. So I, I went over obviously some kind of structure back there. Yeah, and right here by this log, there's a big thing really. Did you get, oh, you caught a nice, he caught a nice black crappie guy. He's really nice one. That's your best one of the day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm right there by that log. Man. That's where I'm at too, right on the end of that log poking out. I'm gonna, here I'll get a photo of you holding it. Yeah, he got a nice black there, guys. Really nice. I was hoping my bobber went under when I was watching you, but it didn't. <laughs> That's usually what it does. Right when I look away, fish just jumped way on the other side in front of me over there. See, this is why I do need to spend, if I go spend that money and put my shit in here, I'll know I'll, there'll be fish on them every time. And I can design them where you don't get hung. Just put them in rows where you can cast right on the side of them. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> the, oh, this was uh, on the other side. Yeah, I casted this over the tree where I got right where I got hung earlier on purpose saying, oh, well, there's a chance I won't get hung. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's finally another 12, what you say? Dang. Man. All right, guys, I finally got another 12. We was going to keep going down the lake. I said, you know what? I want to go back for just a minute because I knew we missed something up here. And I was right. Definitely missed it. Nice crappie. Well, you got a nice fish. This one left. That's a slab. By the way, it's acting. He's staying down. I do believe you got you a slab, buddy. Or a bass. Yeah, bass. Please be one of those. Yeah, he's got the black lips. See? Look at his lips, man. They're black on top. Isn't it? Or the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. He ain't got none of the spots, though. How are we going to get... Oh man, I'm gonna take him and get him on your frame. Wow, guys, he he just got a nice large mouth. That may have been the one you missed earlier. You never know, because you kind of let it calm down a while. You know what I mean? That's that good. Guys, I think my theory may be right. Earlier, I said I bet the fish bite better as the day goes on because it's, it's supposed to be 67. He's barely got some of that thing I'm talking about. He's got the black stripe and black teeth but he ain't got none of the circles on the body you want to keep him no, we can throw him back if you want. all right We're doing this number you right. know that's why I wanted to come back to it you got a good chance of landing one. I'm a little far away, but you never know. Oh, like I said, you never know. Oh my God. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
Oh, now that's what we came for right here, Brian. Still not 15, but he's that's got to be a 13 and a half or something. Bro. <sighs> yeah, that's a big one. He won't let me grab him. I got a dip net. That's what we came for, guys. Oh my God. Oh yeah, easily 13 and a half. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Man. What a hog. And I was six feet away from the tree. Nowhere near it. I don't know where the tree is. There's probably another branch that we can't see of running along the bottom. You can't really, I think the wind blew us. It's way in that second dark shadow back there. I was way out in that first shadow. Whew. I feel like you never, you know, boom. Man. Yeah, I was about to recast because I was so far away. It's the damn wind, it won't let me stay there. I think you're doing better with the pacing. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys, finally. Actually, this is a 14 incher. Damn close anyway. That's a true slab right there. I could tell right away he wasn't skiing on the top. Whew, man. You want to keep this one? What do you think? Keep one real big one so you can show her. Tell you what, I'm trying to get one more like that. I want one an inch and a half bigger, and that's what I'm trying for. Got him. Oh my, oh my god. It's bigger, it's bigger. I think it is. Yep. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna measure this one. I gotta, I gotta measure this one, guys. Boy, it's an awful small hook for this big of a fish. I gotta use pliers. Which I don't know where the hell they went, man. Oh, there they are. Whew. That's a nice one. I don't know if he's much bigger, but it's, it seemed. Be oh my. Boy, we're on them, guys. They are firing up. I'm gonna measure this fish because I'm curious. 14 even. Man. Goodness. And you got that nice black. You got the biggest black of the day, I think. We're catching more whites, but. Man, look at that guy's 14 inch crappie. Nice fish. Fourteen incher. Yes, indeed. What a hog. That's a hog. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> That's why I want to go down to Mississippi right there. Their backs are bigger than this even. They're like freaking two inches thick. Look at his tail or his uh yeah. big old chunk missing. God, I thought he was bigger than 14, but that's still impressive though. And I'm putting them right back in and still caught another one right afterward. Yeah, because I'll be in the, the little one. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Which one's he gonna choose? Oh! It's a big one. Not as big, but it's nine or 10 anyway. No, it's not, maybe not. That's why I was missing it. I mean, it's actually a decent fish. We're just used to those <laughs> good couple we caught. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'll remember that little spot next time. God, oh no, I'm not. Until they completely die. <sighs> 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 
how quick they're biting now too it's as soon as it hits the water almost over as soon as the minnow settles anyway now my minnow's kind of screwed up so <laughs> that thing jumped out of the water clear out of the water boy he's playing isn't he no design at all it looks like a drum I know <laughs> it did look like it didn't it all right guys nah he's about 12 inches 11 plain white crappie just no color to him you got a fish oh you're on you're directly on it what was that? it was me throw I was trying to throw him far away so he wouldn't uh whoa i can guys it wasn't three minutes ago i said it'd be nice to get a channel cat as a bonus and he literally said i wouldn't turn down a channel cat <laughs> <laughs> now we're just missing bowfin and bluegill this is weird because this is where i caught the catfish before was down in this area by the turtles down there oh oh wow man look how many spots it has like digital camo yeah hold on a minute that's a channel not a brown bull whoa it's gonna be hard to get it that's a nice channel though it's almost see that's what i don't like about this camera i can't zoom my other one i could zoom from back here and... that's awesome though man oh Crappie. I told you I seen them swimming behind that tree. I kept seeing lines. Uh, they're hiding behind that because the wind ain't. They're hiding from the wind. I figured it out. They're probably down on that tree, but they're real close to the bottom. You'd almost, once again, bottom lip pointing down. <laughs> and I had my bobber still set deep, and I bet I where i cast it ain't but three foot deep this has to be touching the bottom almost nice white crappie he's 10 about 10. Man. knew there had to be something up here they're just in a different they're not sitting on that they're probably on that tree in front of you they're just way down on it close to the dang bottom hiding they're hiding from that wind now is what it is all right guys nice white Yeah. Beautiful. Any, that's just uh, it's a couple hundred more yards. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one. Yeah, I've thought about hopping out and going over there. So you can get out right there on that bush and get over there but from what I'm researching on the side it looks like it's it's spring fed because the really because in the sun my goodness going in spurts again man don't get one for five minutes and then all of a sudden you're catching two and three at a time it's weird man Yeah, it is. <sighs> we haven't caught really any under hand size, maybe one or two. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to try on this side real quick, right there. He's been slaying, he's been slaying giants. Yeah, giants pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. That wasn't your minnow, was it? No, uh-uh. There he goes. Get him. What is that? Oh, a little bass. <laughs> <laughs> you got an aquarium at home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Get this bad boy mounted. Dude, that's a beast. Man. That's the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> yeah. You caught the biggest and the smallest. I could almost use him for bait if it was a little. <laughs> Put him on a limb line. Right 
Oh my. So they're definitely back in that corner. There's your baby. Yep. See, I'm two foot deep, so I need to probably raise mine again. Or lower it, I mean. That's a black, finally. Is it? I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's the first one from back here. Hey, what's weird you is got a big one. Man. See what I was doing? Yeah, I was sitting there watching you. <laughs> Moving my screen up and down? Yeah. Oh my, it's not a bad fish. Goodness. Oh yeah, easily forty something fish. Well, look at the tail. Yeah. They're spawning. They're getting ready for it. Mm-hmm. Mm. They say that muddy muddy water warms up faster than clear water. You think it'd be the opposite, but it it, it is true because it warms up the particles. It heats up. You're better off fishing muddy water in the early spring. Dude, all I'm doing is moving my stuff up and down like you said your buddy does. Oh okay. That's why them long, and that just keeps going down deeper and deeper right there. There you go. Did you get him? Oh, hey, yeah. You did it, buddy. You did it, man. All right, we got him his first, uh, his second big crappie of the day, but that's definitely his biggest one. Right at the end, guys. It took me till the end of the day to remember how this was exactly. That's the diagonal tree I've been looking for. Now I realize how diagonal it is. And I was thinking it was in front of that tree down there and it was this one. I don't see that other thing though. Let's just leave it like this with no anchor. No anchor and just freaking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I pulled him right in, dude. I reeled it a couple times and he come running. Yeah, he's easily 14, isn't he? Gosh. All right, Brian's on one. Crappie. Little white on a underspin again. Bottom lip. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with that is. That is strange, man. It's usually like a once a week thing if you're fishing every day. I don't know what the, must be eating upside down. They, they turn their body over. <laughs> upside down day in crappie land. Yeah, yeah, brother. Did it with one arm. I had my vape in one hand. Oh. oh. Whoa. Remember what I, I just said that a few minutes ago. I said, we're, they're only eight or nine inches here, but you never know. Sure enough. You, whoa, he's a humpback, man. Weird looking. Yeah, he is. God. He's that's, warm. that is a weird looking oh, crappie. Dude. Real thin on the bottom. Yeah. Some of these do need taken out of here, don't they? At least the smaller ones. He's 14, but he's paper thin on the bottom yeah, he is. god that is a nice crappie though just a shame he ain't got a something full of eggs or some shad in his belly guys look at that hoss what a true hoss lengthwise anyway wow And I hooked him with one arm. I was hitting my vape when he bit and I had to react quick. <laughs> hey, the big ones are anywhere, man. It's just random. You may have got a slab the there, buddy. Is that a channel cat? Yeah, you got a big old catfish, man. Boy, with four pound line. You want me to get the dip net, man? 
<laughs> oh my, I told you there's some big ones in here. Oh my, he just caught a nice channel cat, guys. He's about three pounds, four pounds. He's a good one. Holy crap. I'll just lower him. I'll zoom. I'll, what I'll do, I'll reach way over where I can get a good uh, video of you holding that thing. Boy, I'm glad we had that dip net. Hey, we got to use it at least. <laughs> Holy cow, that's way early for them, isn't it? They usually ain't even biting yet. Hey. Guys, he just caught one hell of a channel cat there. Good God. All right, I'm gonna try to, oh, it's gonna be hard, but I'm trying. There's one hell of a channel cat, guys. Oh, yeah. Easily three pounds. Man, that's perfect eating size right there. Gosh. I don't know how you do it, but if you can... Uh, it's too hard for you to turn around. It's impossible. Well, they're not completely shut down. Right where I just was. I know. <laughs> I think, <laughs> and I was the dead, that was a dead minnow, but I was scooting it. He's about 11. Yeah. Not bad, guys, 11 incher. Been one hell of a day. I bet we got a good old suntan too, probably. At least on the back of our necks. <laughs> Out over the place. Well, guys, it's been one hell of a day. We had fun. I'm glad that I took somebody for once. And we did good because usually when I do this, it ends up with me saying, I swear they were here last week. Now, this is one of the rare occasions that it worked out for us. Definitely going to come back in the next month or so here. I'm thinking about putting stake beds in here. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, we're going to show our entire catch for the day. Boy, that freaking sweet, isn't it? It won't quit spinning. <laughs> There's nothing new for a minute. It's slowing down. That is one hell of a stringer. Probably... 20 crappie on there, five of them are 12 inches and bigger. Three, four pound channel cat. Man. Get that big crappie in the cat. And what a day, guys. Definitely feed, a, feed his whole family. <laughs>